Let's talk about Google's latest update. Hi, my name is Zach here at Yaz, and this morning I was searching something on Google and I noticed that there was a change where normally you would go there and see all of the listings, something has, as I said, something has changed. What they've now done is included the name of the business who created an article and a small icon of their logo. Now, in the past, Google has made updates that weren't necessarily so great for business owners, but were great for you know, the regular individual. When I go to Google and I'm searching, uh, you know, the example I normally use is how to fix my kitchen sink. The first thing I'm going to see is, of course, a link from somebody who's written this that Google has decided is a reputable enough source for me to see, but Google's actually going to display that information probably in a list form before you even click the link, which if you are a business owner, you know, in this example, a plumber, you don't want Google to stop people from going to your website because all the work you put into your content, calls to action, it's kind of all lost because people aren't getting there. So they're not actually experiencing your brand. This has kind of changed that a little bit in that now people will have a bit of an experience with your brand in that tiny, tiny little, you know, it's called a, a favicon. Some people say favicon, whatever. <laughs> so what, what's happening now is that when somebody goes to Google, they search that question, they're still going to be showed um, that normal list of articles, but each one of them, more like a news source, is going to say who they're from. Now what this means for you as a customer is that you can take a look through all of the different sources and see if there's anything that you, any brand that you recognize that you would rather read their article than somebody else's, which is huge. So that means as a business owner, if people are interacting well with your brand, it means when they actually see an article there, they're more likely to click yours than your competitors. That said, let's talk a little bit about brands. So let's go back about 10 years. Most people's logos, and of course I'm going to generalize here, a lot of people's logos were you know, kind of lengthy this way. They would have their business name, maybe even their logo below that. Um, and, and that was fine, you could put that on business cards, catch people's attention, show them who you are and what you do, but it's just not something that will work anymore. Considering how Google is using these logos, they have to be this tiny little perfectly square um, you know, icon, which means those long logos with the words, they're gonna get stretched and shrunk down and people aren't even going to be able to read what's on there. So if you take a brand like ours, you know, we've got our logo here and Yaz, we just use the logo part. Um, so as we're building our brand, anytime we put out, you know, new articles, every web page we have, um, any other collateral like business cards, they're all going to have this shape. So that means when people eventually start loving us, loving our brand and really getting into it, they'll be able to go over to Google, see our logo, be like, Oh, I know, I know who those people are and I recognize them and I trust them, so I'm going to click their link, which is huge. So what you need to work on then is making sure that your brand is memorable, you have a logo that's going to fit into this tiny, tiny little size in a way that people are going to remember, and also that you have a business name that is kind of one thing. And it's a very vague statement and is a bit hard for me to explain, but there are some businesses that go by several different names. You know, they'll have their regular business, their acronym. Um, <clears throat> and if, so if somebody knows your business only by that acronym and then they come here and they see your full name, if they don't recognize you, you've just lost all of the power that your brand had. So uh, kind of went over a lot today. Google's new change has made branding a little bit better. Um, I mean, the other thing is that they are, with this, planning to show more content on Google's page. They mentioned in their article something about being able to buy tickets or buy products. Um, again, that's great if you're running an e-commerce business and you want people to be able to get your products and get out of there as fast as they can, but you do lose the power that you put into converting people who are actually on your website. So uh, let me know what you think about all of that. Um, it's definitely something we're all going to have to get used to. Right now, this is actually something Google has live on mobile, but it's not on desktop yet. So 
take a look. Um, and as always, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll talk to you next time.